Today we're going to be unboxing a Cimarron Pistol Lero 45 Colt Single Action Revolver and that's coming up next here on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment down below. As some of you guys know, if you follow the channel, I've been looking for a 45 Colt for a while. I finally picked this Cimarron up. I got a good deal on it. I'll tell you more about it as I unbox it. Let's go over to the table and check this out. Now that we're at the table, if, if you follow my channel, you guys know I've been looking for a 45 Colt for a long time. I got a reloading casting haul about a year ago now, and I got 45 Colt dies, a bullet mold, stuff like that. So I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these because I could reload for it. Now this one here in particular, you can see there's a tear in the box with a piece of tape on it. There was an issue with this, and I will tell you what the issue was a little bit later in the video. But let's go ahead and see what's inside of this. First thing we got is a book here, Firearm Safety and You. Next we got a Texas Jack, All Things Wild West. Looks like a place down in Texas for you to pick up stuff for your gun if you like Wild West stuff. Next here we got a crappy NRA brochure nobody cares about because they suck. Then we got a bumper sticker here that says, I'm your Huckleberry, Cimarron Firearms. That's going to go on the safe. Then we have a owner's notice here. And this tells you about their warranty and repair policy and everything. Then we have a instruction manual. Let's open this up here and see what it looks like. Looks like it's got a diagram on how everything comes apart. All the lettering and everything. Diagrams look great on it. Looks like to be a well-made instruction manual here. Look at one more page here if I can get it apart. There we go. Yep, very detailed instructions on everything on it. Now next, we got the gun. Now let's get the gun out and I'll tell you a little bit about it. The Cimarron Pistolero is actually their budget-based single action 45 colt i don't know if they make it in other models their website kind of sucks on info on this but i do know that this one is their budget based one this is a copy of the 1873 colt so let's go ahead and start at the beginning here at the front we've got a 5.5 inch barrel you can see we got a fixed front sight we got our plunger right here to empty out the cylinder and then you got your little plunger here and your pin. You would push this pin, pull that out with the loading gate open, and then your cylinder will come out. Because this is a new gun, this is very tight, so I'm not going to do it on camera. But that's how you would get it out. Now we'll move back to the cylinder here. And I'll tell you right now, I bought this gun used, but it's brand new. And you can see on the cylinder, there is no line on it at all because it has not been shot very much. Now, there is a story behind that, but I'll tell you that after we take a look at it. Now, another thing you would notice, you got one, which is half cock, two, three. Most single actions would be one, two, three, four. For Colt, which everybody says that means Colt with the four clicks, that's a little bit different. That's something that uh, Cimarron did. And I'm not sure the reason behind why they did it, but that is something different. Then as before, I showed you over here, you got your loading gate. And this is how you would load it. You would take it to half cock. Now you can see there is a firing pin on this. So how you would load this, you would put one in the cylinder, move it, skip that one. And then we would keep putting all the rest of the rounds in. And when you do that, this would make it when you're done so you can land on an empty cylinder. And as you can see here, these bolts, these are just empty shells, nothing in them, so I'm not putting live rounds in. And then once you get those in, you would shut your loading gate. You would bring your hammer all the way back. And then you would close it. And I don't know if you could see in that gap there, but you can see right there, there is nothing up there. You're on an empty chamber. And that makes it safe to carry. So now we're going to empty those rounds out real quick. What you're going to do is, is flip your gate open, put it at the half cock, 
and then we're going to move it to the round. And you can see your little plunger here. That is for the scratch your rounds out of. We'll pop these out here. The harder you do it, you can see the more they pop out. If you do it real lightly, sometimes they will come out and sometimes they won't. Now we got all the rounds out. I'll tell you why I ended up with this and what was wrong with it. All right, now to tell you the story here. Like I said, the Pistolero here, this is their budget model. So it already makes it cheaper than the rest of the Cimarron's. It's not lacking in quality, but the issue was the guy who bought it before me, they had to send it back to Cimarron and they had to adjust the safety transfer bar on it for it to fire right. Those rounds that I put in it with well, the test fired rounds on it and it proved that it worked. Well, the guy who bought it didn't want it no more. So the place I bought it from let him return it. Now you can see that the function dry firing, everything seems fine on it, which I'm cool with it as long as it works. And the only other thing I could find wrong with it, we can get it close up here. You can see a little ding right there in the trigger guard. I'm okay with that. My guns, they're not safe queens. They're going to get used, something that might or don't bug me. So I end up getting this. Not only is this their uh, budget one, I got it for a little bit cheaper because the guy returned it because they had to send it back to the factory. So that's a one reason why I picked this up is because I paid a lot cheaper price than what one of these is normally. So now I can't wait to get this thing out and fire it. Here it's the beginning of April and in Northwest Ohio, it's still been snowing, windy, rain, all kinds of crappy weather so I can't get out and shoot on my range. But once we do get the weather to break here, we're going to get this out. I got some uh, 50 rounds of uh, 45 Colt. I only got 50 cases, but I'm going to reload some of those up here. I did have some lead bullets from a company I'm not sure of. We're going to load those bullets up first and test fire this thing and see if it works. So that's all I got for today for the unboxing of the Summeron Pistolero here. This is going to be a great gun, I have a feeling. I cannot wait to fire it. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget, we are one nation under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.